National Democratic Congress is calling on moral society and traditional authorities to speak against what they call the tyranny of government of uh, President Ekofuado. At a news conference Thursday, National Communications Office of the NDC, Sami Jemfi, in spite of his party's difference with Martin Amido, whilst in office, his life was never threatened. The NDC has been speaking about the resignation of Martin Amido as special prosecutor and the allegations by Martin Amido that there are threats to his life following his corruption risk assessment report of the HRPA deal. No voices of conscience in moral society, traditional authorities and civil society to rise up and condemn the tyranny and totalitarianism being supervised by President Ekufuado. Under the Exwal NDC Mills administration and the NDC Mahama regime, and ladies and gentlemen, I want you to listen to this carefully. Martin Amidu, under these two NDC governments, went about his anti-corruption activities in peace. Even though we disagreed with him on many issues, neither President Mills of blessed memory, nor President John Dramani Mahama, nor their appointees attempted to interfere with Martin Amidu's work as citizen vigilante in any way. No one attempted to influence him or induce him in any way. No one visited his house to induce him to cover up their crimes. And no one, more importantly, threatened him with death, arson, or robbery. So why is this man being threatened with arson, robbery, and death by the MPP? for professionally discharging his statutory duties as special prosecutor. It is evil to appoint a man as special prosecutor, refuse to pay him for two years, deliberately starve his office of the basic resources necessary for his work. And when he indicts you for corruption, turn around and threaten him with death. That is the height of wickedness. And like I said, it is sad that this country has sunk this low 